<coughs> Hi, how you been? How you been? I've been good. I've been great. I've been? I've been great! Isn't that German? I've been lichten! Sorry, that was probably really racist. Or nationalist of me. Um, because I don't know German. Oh. And I'll tell you why I... I do things like, uh... Q-tip my ears and floss my teeth and shit while I'm making videos because right now I got something stuck in my teeth, like a piece of dental floss from when I was flossing before. And I'm so OCD. I mean, I guess I'm OCD. I try to be not OCD, but like, I used to have trouble counting sheep. I don't. I think I got it. Uh, try to count sheep and. I would keep getting to the point where the sheep would. There should be like shoop or shope or something for one sheep. It would get like halfway over the fence and then it would reset. And it, but it wouldn't like go back, it would just like reset like it was a video on repeat. And it would keep going. And one day in Chicago when I was like 23 or 24 or something, I, I figured out how to let the sheep keep running. It was just a, a force of will and it was really easy to do. It just took some concerted effort and visualization. It didn't even take anything. It was so easy to do. Like, all along, I could have done it. I just didn't know that I could do it. I didn't, like, just watch it run off. I mean, you may miss a chunk of it the first time you visualize it, but just visualize it landing and running. I mean, so easy. Now. I mean, that was ages ago. Ever since, I've become much more powerful at visualizing things. Much less OCD than I used to be, but... Like, if I feel something, like, in my teeth, I get it distracts me from conversation. I really need to fix my teeth. I need to go to the dentist, I think. I don't know if you noticed. I, I have, and someone pointed out a long time ago, my teeth are, like, dented here now. They used to be, like, perfectly flat and straight. Before I looked, it looked, I looked good. I was going to say I looked really good. Now I look like Steve Buscemi. No offense, Steve, if you're watching. Uh... I just look like jacked up teeth, man. But some the I think like something about jacked up teeth is sexy. I don't know why. Not jacked up teeth, but like not perfect teeth. Perfection's boring. Yeah, perfection's sexy as hell. Must I go on? Need I go on? <clears throat> what must I do next? I'm putting up a. Uh, uh, music video soon. Get excited. It's going to be fucking good. It's going to be available on iTunes. I was thinking about making it free, maybe on the website or something. But, like, money's an issue. Oh, L.A. If you don't live in L.A., be glad that you don't live in L.A. L.A., man, it's so expensive, dude. And I work so much on the internet. <clears throat> but I have a lot of friends in L.A. And there's a lot of industry and a lot of really good cameras floating around out here. Well, you know, the trade-off. But anyway, I gotta make money. I'm like, poor as shit, destitute, I was thinking. I I'm like, I gotta pay this fucking parking ticket. There's like street cleaning in L.A., I don't know if you know about it. Um, a lot of places have like, Monday street cleaning from 10 to 2 or... <clears throat> 10 to 1 maybe on one side of the street and then Tuesday on the other or it'll be like Tuesday, Thursday, Friday or Tuesday, Thursday or whatever but this happens to be Monday, Tuesday and you know Monday off a weekend sometimes I just don't think about it and like twice in the last two months I've gotten tickets 60 bucks for leaving my car on the road that's 120 like I could have probably bought a parking spot for 100 bucks well it would be more expensive than that but So I gotta pay that, then I gotta get my fucking tags for my car, which is another hundred bucks. And I gotta do that before the end of the month, and then I gotta pay rent, which is seven, uh, seventy-five, which we're splitting. But then, like, bills, and I got credit cards, man. My credit cards are just doing me in. It's like four or five hundred dollars a month in credit card debt. I wish I came from a rich family. But I am doing my best. I'm working hard, and I'm putting myself in positions that I'm not comfortable in at all. Like, 
LA in general and all this fucking social gatherings and stuff. I'm very shy by nature. I don't know if you know that. Um, people intimidate me. Their their aggressiveness sometimes. I can pretend to not be, but at my core, I, I'm pretty shy. I'm happy to be shy. I'm most comfortable and alone when I'm shy. Um, so I. You know, I'm forcing, like, this big industry shit, like, entertainment industry and music industry and all that. Because I need to get rich. Stupid, isn't it? Isn't that fucking stupid? Is that even logical at all, that I'm doing it for the money? The fame, too, but, like, the influence of power. And, like, I don't really need a lot, but... I mean, I'm finding in L.A., I need a lot just to have a little. I mean, I need to make, like, 2000 dollars a month to get by. It's ridiculous. Probably like, probably like seventeen hundred bucks a month. I might be able to make it. Well, probably less now. I don't need much, and if I have a lot, I don't know what to do with it. And that's part of why I haven't like taken the step. Because I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do with millions of dollars? Give it to people? Probably. At first, I'll probably give it to a bunch of people. And float people like my friends and family and stuff that I've known my whole life. Or people that I've met, people that need it, really. But like, make it so they don't have to work. Or they, they can work on what they want to work on and, and make what they want to make and they'll still be okay. That's like a fan. Sometimes I almost, I cry. And like, sometimes I almost cry when I think about my mom and like how happy she'll be. I mean, she, she, you could be watching this right now, mom, so. But I, I get sad about it. Like, um,. Uh, Like, the joy? I don't know. The whole... I'm doing all this for my parents, really. Like, all of it. Ever since I, like, was like, I'm gonna be famous. And it's... You know... I, I did it because... I Like, I remember talking to my mom in the store. Oh, I must have been in Chicago. On the phone. I was on the phone, and she was... We were talking on the phone. And she was like, well, why don't you do it? I said, because I, I know I can. I don't... It's not about... I don't have to prove it to myself. I mean, I know I can do pretty much whatever. She's like... And I was trying to show her my point, which was like... I know I could have probably gone in any direction. I could have been a quarterback. I don't like hitting people, but I could have been a quarterback. I still am sometimes. I love to throw the football, dude. Run plays and shit. Cross angles and, like, guide people to the spot. It's so fun. Uh, and the arm, man, when you get that momentum going with a whip, like, your arm becomes a whip. The sp whips literally crack the speed of sound. I think if your joints are fluid enough, they can, like, whip. Anyway, probably not like a, a leather whip, but, you know, if you have strong arms, you can do a lot. If you like putty. And, uh, what else was I going to say? Could have, could have done that. I could have done that. Could have done an actor. Could have done the music. Could have done a mathematician. Could have done a historian, a politician. Like I could have done a lot of stuff in college. I was really good at pretty much everything. Um, English kind of bothered me, but I learned it. I mean, it's a tough language. And now I kind of, I'm glad I learned it because ism and action, you know, all these little phrases like ism can go at the end of like a lot of stuff in different situations and different words. Um, you know, so that's why I make up words and stuff, is because might as well. If you're going to learn the language, might as well use it. Abuse it, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I chose the path of entertainer, because I thought it's the easiest path for the shortest amount of time. The shortest amount of money, I was thinking. It's like... You don't really have to do a lot, you just kind of... I mean, but the thing is, and it's true, you do have to do a lot. It's just you don't have to do a lot of physical labor. Like, people will get you water and stuff. It's really weird. I don't know if you've ever been on stage or, like, work. A lot of times when you're doing paid work, people are paying you. They're also, like, taking care of you. It's, it's pretty interesting. Kind of weird, I was thinking. Um, but, like, it, you pretty much go in and stand there. You know, stretching became a big part of my life because you can stretch without, like, have it interfere with people. <sighs> and it's something to do while I'm standing there. But I get bored easy if I'm not active. So that's the stretching is like really fun. All this like feeling my body and stuff. So entertaining too for me. Um 
entertainment, man. Music's pretty cool because it's work. It is a challenging fucking job. It is the most challenging thing I've ever pursued. And I love it. I can only imagine when I get so good on the guitar, like I learned it like I learned the English language, how the sounds I can make. Like, the, the, when you hear a fluent, like, guitarist, a fluentist, if you will, maybe I'm a fluentist, maybe that'll be my career path, I don't think you get paid for that, but I'll just be really fluent at everything or a bunch of things. Um, See, I want to know. Boom. So it's that note. Once I get so good that it just I just go boom ding 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 boom ding because that was what I was hearing. Well, I didn't know what I was hearing. I just hit something and then that was the sound that I kind of heard and the noise I made. Um, that's a fun way to make music. Anyway, this video has gone on and on. I, I kind of just told you a little bit about what I'm doing. And, oh, but the problem. So one of the big problem I felt is like I chose a challenge. Where, acting's kind of challenging because everybody wants to do it. it seems like every, every everyone thinks they could be an actor. Maybe that's an exaggeration, because probably everyone doesn't fill in any blank, but it seems like pretty much everybody, 99% of the people I've met, if not, most people don't say they're, they're a good actor or anything like that, because that's like the difference in, in who is a good actor, is people that say they are. Maybe. But I'm a good actor. I know I am. But only because I've been told. So, you know, nurture. Nature, I mean, I'm, I'm inquisitive. That helps for acting. Like, what's going on? What do you do? What do you, what do you do? That kind of thing. Like, watching. Like the, getting, looking at them from a different angle. That just, that in itself is interesting to look at. To see somebody looking at something from multiple angles is interesting to watch. So that's a tactic, a stage tactic, and a camera tactic and stuff. I mean, really look at stuff. Really get a, get a good look at it. And figure, like, I, I learned, like, putting your chin down makes you look more attractive, I think, because it probably because it stretches the spine and makes you healthier. Um, maybe it makes you a little taller. Because I was doing this a lot, and they were like, put your chin down. So, like, if I want to look at it, I don't know, interesting shapes and stuff, and, and staying comfortable is important. As long as you're breathing a lot, like, you're still, you keep your, your normal biorhythm. You make different positions, but keep your normal biorhythm. It's fucking gold. Secrets of acting. I'll tell you everything. I know so much about it. I mean, I'm always learning, but I'm teaching. I'm always teaching, I thought, too. Like I said, this video has gone on and on, so I'll leave you with. And I apologize too, this is something that's kind of made me a mockery in a lot of people's eyes, is uh, when I'm performing, it's right. I play exactly what the set is supposed to sound like, whatever it is. But when I'm making YouTube videos, I'm not performing. So, I mean, there is a performance happening, but I'm not in my, what I think of as my performer mode when I am doing the right thing every time. Every once in a while I'll give you a video like that and I'm gonna start giving more videos like that and maybe that's what I should do to really succeed at life is only really project performance. But you know, I'm who I am and this is who I am and I've kind of given you a glimpse into my life with these YouTube videos. And now I'm gonna go be a performer and you'll get to see who I am and know me still as I'm a performer and we'll like 
bridge the gap between that whole fantasy of who's great, who's on stage. Like everyone can do it, and and when we know each other, that's how we relate that information. So I, that was kind of why I'm doing this, and I'm I'm sorry that I've fucked around so much and like made so many mistakes, and you've been that you've been privy to, and almost ha not had to watch, but have not expected, and then got blasted with, and like then again and again, and it's like, dude, this is so boring because you keep fucking up. For me, it's really interesting because every time I fuck up, I get a little closer to fixing it. But for you, you just want to see the fixed version, and since I can give you the fixed version, the fact that I haven't every time. Is a little shitty of me, and I'm sorry. A lot of, I mean, I guess you could call it laziness because I don't want editing videos is time consuming, and and I'm interested in seeing what'll happen by putting up this this lengthy crap. Sometimes, you know, it's it's really fun, and I've really people really know who I am. I've gotten to know people like on a realistic level outside of YouTube. I don't fuck around. I could just be like this pretty much all the time, but you know, other people want to talk. So, thanks for listening to my rant. And uh, peace out, brother and sister and camera and red light on the camera and glass of water.